One of the data reduction strategies in Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service is the new data limit feature introduced in the August 2028 update. The new feature allows users to set limits on the amount of data displayed in visuals, and it is useful to improve performance of Power BI reports, ensuring that visuals are clear, concise, and easy to interpret. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to limit the amount of data in visuals in Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service using the same semantic model. Let's get started. I'm going to come to my model view. I've got the F sales, the D product, and the D customer tables. So two dimension tables and then one fact table. And I'm going to come to the report view. So now we're going to focus on using implicit measure of course you can use explicit doesn't matter but because of you know time let's use the implicit measure so i'm going to drag the quantity from the fcs table across to the report canvas and then i'm going to drag the product name into the same card i'm just going to give me a clustered bar chart and i'm going to resize this to create more space so we have the sum of quantity by product so i'm going to Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create a duplicate of that chart and I'm going to turn this to table. Click on this and then I'm going to click on the table visual. So we have the sum of quantity by product name and then the sum of quantity by product name across two visuals. Now, in no specific order, I can apply the data limits to either the table or the cluster bar chart. So let's start with this bar chart. So click on that. I'm going to click on the filters pane to expand. Now this feature only works on filters on this visual, not on this page, nor on all pages. So to do that, click on this ellipsis. So we're going to see more option. And there we go, we have the add data limits. So click on that. And then we're going to see this box. So let's want to see the top 10 Product name by sum of quantity. I'm going to just type in 10 and then click on apply. And there we go. So this has been reduced in my cluster bar chart visual and it's going to improve my performance definitely. So let's do the same thing for the table. Click on the table visual and then click on the ellipses. And then I can add data limit. Let's say I want to see the same 10. Click on apply and there we go. Of course, we can modify it. Let's want to see the top five. So I'm going to reduce this to five. And there we go. So we have the top five. Let's say I'm going to do the same thing for the cluster bar chart. So click on that and then click on apply. There we go. So we have the top five product name by sum of quantity. And of course, you can always clear this if you want to clear that and back to the original state. So this is how we can apply the add data limit in the Power BI desktop. Let's go to the Power BI service to achieve the same thing. So I'm going to come to my Fabric Warehouse Matic model, and then I've got the D customer, the D product, and then the F sales. When I come to the model view, I'm going to see the one to many relationship established between the D product and then the F sales table. So we can go on and create a new Power BI report on top of the semantic model. And then we have the date product and then the F sales. Again, I'm going to drag the quantity across to the canvas and I'm going to drag the product name across to the same card and there we go. So this gave me a clustered column chart. It doesn't matter. Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create a duplicate. And then I'm going to turn this to a table quickly. So I'm going to come here and we have the table and column chart. So again, I can click on this and then I'm going to come to the filters on this visual. So click on the ellipses and there we go. We have that also in the Power BI service. So click on add data limit. Let's want to see the top 10, click on apply. Amazing, it's working fine. Let's come to the cluster column chart again. Click on the ellipses and let's want to see the top 10. So click on that, and there we go. So we have the add data limit working in the Power BI desktop and Power BI service. Let me know what you think about this new functionality. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.